This is my world here. I don't really know what happens outside of my little world because most of it isn't pertinent to becoming a good writer. I think if you're gonna write about a community or about people or about events, you have to be around people. You have to take the subway, you have to ride the bus, you gotta be around, you gotta be standing around, listening to people talk. I feel like my strength comes from the fact that I spent an hour talking to this Puerto Rican guy this morning on the corner named Ruben. And he was, <laughs> he was telling me some pretty funny stuff. And I, I'm not gonna use it, but it, it makes me fuller. The thirst that drives a creative person has to be quenched with real things. The city, aware of its responsibility to the living, built houses which ask no questions about a man's race or color or creed. 1939, Red Hook. Red Hook is part of the industrial poverty that the New York City Housing Authority represents. I mean, there are probably 40 or 45 housing projects in New York. Red Hook is one of the biggest. So certainly, you know, life reflected in Deacon King Kong mirrors some things that have happened in Red Hook. Deacon King Kong is a humorous look at a community that most people see from behind the wheel of a tightly locked car. You know, it's about many things. It's about a boy and a man. It's about a, a man and his wife, you know. I wrote it because I like the people in it, you know. I like the people around here. When you walk through this community, you see people of color, mostly. They're all different. So for me, the characters in Deacon King Kong are as different and varied as white people when they are in their Catholic or Catholic Church or Jewish temple. They're all unique, and my job as a writer is to serve the uniqueness by showing the reader how special each one of them is in their own way, without judgment. Because when there's judgment in writing, when there's judgment, there's no journey. And writing is all about, or good writing is, is all about the journey. Very good. I, I'm crying. Tip the band. Tip the band. Madison Square Garden. Here we don't come. <laughs> We're at the New Brown Memorial Baptist Church. The church was founded uh, by my parents in 1954. People in this church, many of them, the ones who are still here, I've, I've known all my life. You know. The heck was that? What? No, no, that last note was so out of tune. I thought it was a. All right. Jazzy's playing in the key of Z. That's her favorite key. These kids have been practicing down here. This is only the second time they've played together. So we're trying to teach them the business of jazz. We, we, we teach the business of music, but we just happen to be working on some jazz. Boom, boom, good. Good. The characters in Deacon King Kong are inspired by people that I met here and in other churches. Those characters are pretty standard fare in any black church in any part of America in 1969. Same people show up on Sunday and take their teeth out during the repast and, you know, comp them and then they put them back in their mouth. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's a place where interesting things happen and good people live. It's part of a, a misunderstood and, in my opinion, misrepresented community. So somebody. You ready? One, two, ready, and go, and. Stop! Wow. Oh, y'all are both fired, both of you. You know what James Brown used to do? Check this out, when James Brown was dancing, he'd be going, I got the feeling, ah, ah. And then when somebody would make a mistake, he'd point to him, he'd go like this, he'd point, he'd go. I mean, he'd find him $5. So just like I'm James Brown, got the feeling, five, five because he hadn't been practicing. For me, it helped to fall into a world where 
there was at least some controlled explosion of life that I could witness, as opposed to what's happening in the world now, because I have no control of what happens in the world. If I did, then we wouldn't be sitting in, in a church in the middle of a housing project that looks the same now as it looked when I was a boy half a century ago. So it's a relief to walk into the world and experience the journey of people like Sport Coat and Hot Sausage and these other characters who knew how to show love. And that's really what you see in church, people who know how to show love. All right. Okay. All right, now do that again without bending your wrist. A novel is really a kind of a wish. It's kind of a magical thing that you hope happens when you sit down to write. And so you call on everything you can to make it go. And you find that most of what you know doesn't work, just a small sliver, just a small slice of it works, 10% of it. In the case of Deacon King Kong, certainly a lot of the inspiration for it, if that's the word you want to use, comes from being born here and, and spending time here and, you know, continuing to work in the church as a grown man, it helps. But ultimately, you know, you're, you're driven by your desire to make the world a little bit better and make people understand just a little bit more about things and people they might not necessarily know that much about. <laughs> he got mad because he didn't want to play the right melody at the very end. Boom, 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 boom. All right, thank you. All right, one more time.